Howdy folks. We're going to talk today about how to identify the equation of lines that are either parallel or perpendicular to another line. It's a really simple idea here. Let's say that we have some line that goes like this. Y equals uh, 2 thirds X plus 4 and we want to identify a line that is perpendicular to this line and maybe another line that's parallel to this line. Now you can see that this is in slope intercept form but you can also do this procedure in point slope form as well. Basically a perpendicular line or let's say a parallel line a parallel line parallel line has the same slope or parallel, let's not say A, let's just say parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slope, okay? That just means that they have the same M value in their formula. So the equation Y equals 2 thirds X plus 5. This is different than this one, right? This one has a, a Y intercept of Four. This one has a y-intercept of 5, but they both have a slope of 2 thirds and therefore they are parallel lines. So very simply, two lines are parallel if they have the same slope. Okay? Parallel lines have the same slope. Now let's talk about perpendicular lines. It's still very easy, it's just a little harder than, than that one. All right? uh, so, um, perpendicular lines perpendicular. Now you may not remember what perpendicular means, but perpendicular means means forming a 90 degree angle. So when two lines intersect like this right here, if they create a 90 degree angle, they are perpendicular. Okay, that's what perpendicular means. So perpendicular lines have negative and well let's just say negative dash here we go, negative reciprocal slopes. That's it, negative reciprocal slopes. So uh, negative just means that if it starts out negative, it becomes positive. If it starts out positive, it becomes negative, okay? Now reciprocal, in case you don't remember what that means, uh, the number five, the reciprocal of five is one-fifth, okay? Basically, you're, you're, it's you're taking a fraction and you're just flipping it over. That's what reciprocal means. And since 5 is the same thing as 5 over 1, if we flip 5 over 1 over, it becomes 1 over 5. So 1 fifth is the reciprocal of 5. So if you have something that has a slope, if you have y equals 5x minus 3, a line that is perpendicular to this would be y equals negative 1 fifth x plus 17. And the, 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 the y-intercept does not matter at all in perpendicular or parallel lines. The only thing that matters is the slope. And since this slope right here is the negative reciprocal of this slope, these two lines are perpendicular to each other. So when we ask, uh, identify a line that is perpendicular to y equals 2 thirds x plus 4, well, uh, we just take the slope, 2 thirds, we flip it over the reciprocal. So if we flip two thirds over, we get three over two, and then we change the sign. This one's positive, we make it negative. So we can say y equals negative three over two times x, and then it doesn't matter what the, what the y-intercept is, we'll just say plus one maybe. This line is perpendicular to this line because its slope is the negative reciprocal, okay? Now a couple things that you may be asked and we'll go over a couple examples here, is you might be given two lines. You know, any line, you can, a line can be identified by two points. You just say, oh, here's two points, and the line passes through both points. We learned, in, if you watched uh, one of the videos I made on identifying slope uh, and on the equation of a linear function, you'll remember that you can do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and find the slope of this line. So the slope of this line it's going to be, oh, and here's what you'll be asked. You'll be given two lines, and you'll say, well, are these two lines parallel, are they perpendicular, or neither? 
So we need the slope of, all, of both of these lines. So m is going to be equal to y2, 15, minus y1, 4, over x2, 1, minus x1, negative 7. So that becomes basically plus 7, okay, because it's minus negative 7. 15 minus 4 is 11. 1 plus 7 is 8. Okay, so the slope of this line is 11 over 8. This line, slope, is going to be y2, 6, minus y1, negative 5, okay, which basically means minus negative means plus, so 6 plus 5, over x2, 10, minus x1, 2. So 6 plus 5 is 11, 10 minus 2 is 8, so the slope of line 1 is 11 over 8, the slope of line 2 is 11 over 8, so these lines are parallel because they have the same slope. Okay, let's try this one now. Let's see, and you can try it, you can pause it right now and you can take these numbers and you can try it yourself and then watch. Uh, so now, uh, y2, 15, minus y1, 9, over uh, x2, 6, minus x1, 4, Okay, so 15 minus 9 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so the slope of this line is 3. Now let's do this line right here. Slope is y2, 11, minus y1, 12, divided by x2, 4, minus x1, 1. Well, 11 minus 12 that's negative 1, and 4 minus 1 is 3, so that means the slope of this line is negative 1 third, which is the negative reciprocal of 3. Therefore, these two lines are perpendicular. Last pair, we're going to do the slope of this one. y2, 18, minus y1, 6 over x2, 10, minus x1, 7, 18 minus 6 is 12, over 10 minus 7 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the slope of this line is 4. Last one here, m equals y2, 4, minus y1, 20, divided by x2, 9, minus x1, 5, 4 minus 20, that's negative 16, divided by 9 minus 5, that's 4. Well, negative 16 divided by 4, that's negative 4. So, are these two lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, this is 4, this one's negative 4. This is the negative of this, but it's not the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 4 is 1 fourth. So if this said negative 1 fourth, then it would be perpendicular. It's the same number, but that's not the same slope. Even though it's the same magnitude, uh, not the same number, it's the same magnitude, 4, but this one's negative and this one's positive. So they can't be parallel. They're not parallel. They're not perpendicular. So these two lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular. Okay. Then the other things, we'll wrap up with this. The very last thing that you might be asked to do is you might be asked to write the equation of a line that is either parallel or perpendicular to another line that you're given. Now, you could be given a line, or you might be given two points, okay? And, it's, and it says write the equation of the, of the line perpendicular to y equals 5x minus 12 that passes through the point 6, 11. Now, this one is a very specific perpendicular line. It has to be the perpendicular line that passes through the point 6, 11. Well, perpendicular, we know what the slope is going to be because in, 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 the one, in the line that was given to us, 5x minus 12, we know that the slope of the perpendicular line is going to be the negative reciprocal of 5 which is negative one-fifth. So we know that the slope of this line they're asking about is negative one-fifth. Also, they have given us a point. Now, can you remember how to write the equation of a line 
if you know the slope and one point. Well, if you recall one of those videos that I did, uh, it's point slope form that we're going to use. So in point slope form, point slope form, if you recall point slope form is y minus y1, where y1 is the y coordinate from the point, so this will be y1 over here, equals m times x minus x1. Here's m right up here and then x1, that's the x coordinate of the point that you know that you're given. So we're just going to do y minus, and then y1 over here is 11, equals slope m, which is negative 1 fifth, times x minus the x coordinate, which is 6. And there you go. This is the equation of the line perpendicular to 5x minus 12 that passes through the point 6, 11. Well, that's all I have to say about parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, remember that, and you should be good to go. Okay?